All right, hey, it's Mike. I'm just showing you my rainwater harvesting system and irrigation system. As uh, here you can see the metal roof on my shed, gutters, and when you get closer, the gutters actually have screens on the top of them. There's also a screen thing here that I can clean out. Uh, basically, the water comes down through this little screen, fills this tank little pipe. And there's like actual like ping pong ball in here so as it fills up the ping pong ball actually floats up to the top and cuts this off and then all the water starts running over here after it fills this up once it basically the first when the first rain comes in it cleans off the roof so all the roof contaminants fill into here and then once this fills up then it overflows into the tanks and goes down in here and then it's a lot cleaner water and it's already been filtered and the first flush gets out of you know bird droppings and stuff that's on there uh, then it drips out of here and self clears after time because there's like a really small little hole there So that's going into the system then underneath all of these metal things uh, Well reflective stuff is four cubes that are 275 gallons each on concrete blocks And I got two inch PVC pipes and each one of these things has a little little like ball valve thing so they're all connected together and they work pretty awesome so that's the, the water collection storage area I got some solar panels just sitting out here for right now because I haven't mounted them yet but uh, if we take a look inside you'll be able to see how the water pressurization system and all that works so once you get inside I have that outlet of that hose going into here so it comes in right here goes in through this pump then it comes back out goes down into here goes into this pressure tanks 20 gallon pressure tank so it keeps the pressure even and then after that it comes up goes through the filter out the filter and then it goes in this little manifold so that I have three outlets and then these go to spigots on the outside and I'm going to eventually hook up my outdoor sink there uh, these are the batteries that charge the salt from from solar charge controller doing great pump runs awesome can pretty much use it all day long hardly phases it um, now for the irrigation system part so when you come back here you can see the back where I have these uh, outlets coming in this was the inlet from the tank these are two faucets that come out regular garden faucets I mounted and sealed in there and then this is my irrigation timer I got four zones so I can water each different zone at different times or in sequence um, without losing pressure and then this thing here I'm gonna wire to my outdoor sink I just gotta crimp a few more connections and then I'll have a sink to wash my hands and soap and all that so just to turn on the system to show you how it works I can manually turn on uh, a station I'm gonna turn on station one for five minutes and then it turns on in a second. And the pump doesn't actually run until that pressure tank goes out. So zone one goes over here by my fig tree. And you can see the water coming out. I got one gallon uh, pressure compensating emitters there. And then as you go down along this line, you can see I have it going to my fig tree got just one emitter on there and then I have my blackberry we actually just trimmed him up some so he doesn't look as crazy as he did but he had a lot of berries so we trimmed him down and we moved him here in the shade and then from here we got another fig tree this one looks a lot nicer than the other one and a little emitter over there uh, and here we got a kiwi plant it's got a little emitter going on too on the and you come over here and this is my raspberry looking a little better it was getting a little sunburned so we moved him in the shade on the zone and then we got a passion fruit here see the emitters going it's just barely been planted maybe a week or two uh, and then I got goji berry here you can see I got that going on pretty cool and then here we have strawberries it's doing pretty decent there's a couple of little guys down there you know, it just takes a little bit of time. 
And then here we have the avocado. I got two emitters on different sides. Eventually I'm gonna put um, like drip tube that just goes with a bunch of holes. So it's kind of like a soaker hose, but with drip irrigation around like a ring around all the trees. And then here we got some limes and it's got a little emitter in there. And then there's another emitter here with my Yaro. And there's two emitters on this peach tree. And then I have a calendula there. It's doing a little rough because we ran out of water until we got the well. So that's that zone. 